It's been a while since Info's come out on Tensida's newest season, but it looks like Santa's come early with the massive update for it. Not only were we given a teaser showcasing what to expect, but the release date at the end also came with something unexpected. It confirmed that Tensida will be airing for two cores straight. That's right. Once April comes in just four short months, Rimuru will be back for 24 episodes non-stop. So, unlike how most anime today usually get the split core treatment, for this we won't have to wait to see Rimuru in one of the best arcs of the entire series. It's a back-to-back -back season completing what is clearly shown to be the inevitable showdown between Rimuru and Tinata. This, however, is only one volume of content, so if we were to guess on what it is the rest of the season was going to cover after, based on its track record, it would have to be the founding festival arc. Together, this is three volumes in total, and it would be consistent with the three volumes that were covered for each of Season 1 and Season 2 before this. If we focus specifically on the content in the trailer, though, it looks like the Crusaders are about to get themselves a lot more involved with Tempest. They're this elite group of holy knights under the command of Hinata. I wouldn't say they're anywhere as strong as a true demon lord, but as the finest soldiers humanity has to offer, individually they're around the strength of Clayman, and it's together that they become a little bit stronger than that. Obviously, that's just an arbitrary comparison without consideration for outliers, but the point is that just because they're human doesn't mean they're not dangerous. The stakes in a fight with them would be just as high, if not more, than any opponent Tempest has faced so far. Especially when you consider the overwhelming strength of Hinata and a couple of others in her group. We then have a few new characters showing up from what I assume is Hinata's nation of Lubelius, then a full-on battle between their paladins and what I'm guessing is Tempest. So, if full-on war is the inevitable climax for this arc, I honestly can't wait to see what true Demon Lord Rimuru has awaiting for them. At the very least, we know he's not going to be running away like how he did last time. Once again, this is only going to be one third of the season, so expect a lot more than just another war with an overconfident nation. Now, Studio 8-Bit is returning as the primary animation studio, and so too is director Atsushi Nakayama. Where we do see a bit of change, though, is the role of series composition, which now falls to the man behind Log Horizon and the most recent Coleus' Dream OVA. So, I can't imagine the pacing or quality will change from what we've gotten in previous seasons, but it is worth noting that it's not the exact same staff as last time. Stereo Dive Foundation is confirmed to be doing the opening, so that's another banger we're definitely going to be vibing out to every week. Aside from that, there is a special presentation show happening on January 30th, but I can only imagine it'll be the release of an official trailer plus an exact air date. Probably even a new visual or something. That's pretty much all the information I could gather, so I hope it was as much a surprise for you as it was for me. I honestly had no idea when Season 3 was going to air, but this coming spring definitely wasn't what I expected for it. I'm super happy it's going to be airing alongside Mushoku Tensei, but that also means I'm going to have a lot of work cut out for me. Combine that with the potential of ReZero coming out later next year too, and that's a whole year of Isekai at its best. 2024 just looks to be getting better and better. So, if you're excited for this or any other anime coming out, then just let me know which one's down in the comments. But yeah, that's a short little anime news update for you. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you liked what you saw and want to see more, then be sure to leave a like and let me know down in the comments. Until next time, though, ciao!